Hi. Sweet. I just stole a tiefling woman from Leah's. Uh, you guys. <laughs> Which is not. Wasn't difficult. A Garrick, Garrick, yeah. Garrick <laughs> takes you to the sexy bedroom. And essentially, before you go in and do all that, tells you that you um, just kind of wait here, chill out, and uh, the Archdeacon will be with you soon. Soon? Like. 12 hours, 14 hours, no, 22. He has a lot of considering to do and discussion with the other members of the uh, governing parties. And uh, actually, it is, it's probably about 4 o'clock by the time you actually get back to or get to the sexy badger here in Ganrock. And it's several hours, like about six hours later, around 10 o'clock, when the Archdeacon comes back. Is there anything you want to do in that six-hour time frame besides hang out? I think I found what I'm going to do in that six-hour time gonna, frame. Okay, that's fair. You're going to get some. I just want to observe the second badger on there. 50 call. I'll take care of it. Um, I'll get it. Don't worry. Um, I'm comfortable right now. After the shutout, I'll just sit and read or something. That's, Some book I have. That's fair. <laughs> just want to observe the sexy magic wheel. Okay. Do I notice anything of interest? Give me <laughs> the next shakes. 14 and 8 is 22. You see that off in one of the corners there is a. There's three of them. There are three figures in black leather like with with cowls thrown over and they're they're kind of whispering to a group of courtesans that are sitting uh, that are similarly seated at the table you are of course familiar with guilds so you know that they are members of Penumbra. They are on some kind of business. We don't know exactly what kind it is, but that's the most interesting thing other than that is interesting. Herc probably trying to get some more from something or another. There aren't really... Because um, I know that, that, that Herc likes the girthier ones, you know? Like that would probably be... That's more for safety than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> of Not the, his safety, their, their safety. safety. Of, right. of, of the uh, dwarven variety. There are some. Yeah. There. If you were in, in pursuit thereof. Erk still has a bad taste in his mouth. As, uh, are you going to drink some more? Oh, water. Yes. Water. Okay. Yeah. That's... They kind yeah, of that or hair of the dog. They kind of give you no, a strange no. look because no. you know because you were in there before and um, is this number one through three of last excursion for her? This uh, as far as what? Said so I went to three different districts. Districts, yeah. Well, this is this is the first district. Yeah, we're back yeah. to the first. We're back, we're back to the first one. We have the more, chiefs. more of a varied clientele. Um, when this is something I forgot to mention. Whenever you all go in there, um, you notice that Herc gets a lot of looks from the courtesans, <laughs> like they they know him because he was there before. They were very impressed with his work, so to speak. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So you order water. So you drink water. You're gonna try to get right out this. Uh, I enjoy yourself. Two words. Everybody's having a good time. And then <laughs> you hear uh, clanking coming from outside, and the door, the front door of the. Sexy Badger kind of slams open and the Archdeacon enters. That was exciting. And 
If you look through the doorway, you can actually see that there's uh, like one of the the feet of one of the mechs is visible out, outside of the door. So this is their secret speaking. Did a little research, contacted Kagan to see kind of what's uh, what the gist is, what's going on with you guys. Because anybody can say that they work for Kagan. <laughs> yeah. You never know. True. Uh, and your group is called Chaos, which is from what I understand about at least one of your members. Glances at her when he says, that. <laughs> Yeah, um, robots, <laughs> <laughs> robots, and you okay. Normally, we would seize the two pieces that you have because our place is in as undoubtedly safer than anything that we ask. So, what's your favorite at the top of the Hmm? Whoever looks for treasure at the top of the spider. Well, it's not about that. It's about getting to it. It's very difficult to get to. Um, that said, after speaking with Kagan and understanding that your quest is one that will at least as far as he believes, will ultimately result in the pieces being retrieved and the hearing about the box uh, that the pieces are stored in. Because I did also speak with Merrick. Um, I'd say that that's fairly safe. And in fact, uh, it's in an extra dimensional space, which is very good. <laughs> and we actually have Because your group is okay, has been sort of vouched for by the Archmage of the University of Magi and the Guildmaster, we think that it will be possible for us to get you these other two pieces of the pearl. However, um, we don't know, all we have is their word. And while their word holds considerable weight, if you're wanting these final two pieces, these other, not the final two pieces, but the other two pieces that we have, we need you to prove yourself as well. Prove worthiness. Are you willing to do that? I mean, I like to work, but I don't know about the rest of my party. I'm willing to show you my fortitude. <laughs> 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 and, uh,. It's fine. <laughs> it's it's gonna be be some entertaining stuff. Well, so Leas is in. Herc is in. All right. Sword. Take out the ebony dagger and just smile at it. Unblink it. I take that as a yes. Mm, better take that than the dagger. He smirks at that. Okay. Rest up. It seems you've been in quite an ordeal. Um, as of your last battle. I don't know if any of you were still injured or not. Yep. But, uh, rest up. And I will meet you all. Because it's about 10 o'clock right now. We 
get y'all early in the morning. All right. About eight hours from now. And he leaves. Are you going straight into rest? Or are you... Mm-hmm. France. I rest. Perk, I've had my fun already. So everyone rests. Those who need to. Mm-hmm. Continue to do what I was doing. You start to get... Because they all kind of... Roll upstairs to a bit. And... Uh, I guess you stay down. The three, or yeah, the three members of Penumbra start to, because uh, you can tell that they've kind of finished their information gathering, and they get up, and they start to walk out. One of them glances you away, but unless you wanted to do something with that interaction, they're just going to head out. Just got, got, got stuff to do. My pass is uneventfully. The sexy badger being one of the most protected places ever. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Unless you, you know, throw somebody through a wall at a sexy badger. Yeah. <laughs> Amch did that. <laughs> Just for the record. Uh, that was that was good times. In the morning, assuming that you all get up before he arrives, he arrives around uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, which would actually give you like 9 hours so you could be having breakfast at this point after an 8 hour rest. If everyone's downstairs. Breakfast! If you're still sleeping, Herc, you might still be sleeping in because you still... Herc doesn't miss breakfast. <laughs> That's fair. And the roots and pigs. Yep. Get some bacon. Bacon and eggs, mm. coffee. Sounds good right sausages. now, actually. Sausages. <laughs> sausages. It's <laughs> crispy bacon. <laughs> Put it out, your boobs. Put it out. That's nice. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Barduck enters, wearing the same robes he was wearing yesterday. Gross. They're a little. Yeah. <laughs> Says, says the truth that wears the same clothes and armor all the, all the time. Uh, Two of the people are here for participation. That's true. For us. That's true. We <laughs> clean it all. Done. We say I'm a very neat and tidy person. I imagine he doesn't even work as an ass at this point. <laughs> Using nope. Oh, would you? Station. Mage hand. Press he uses mage hand. Mage hand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, smell my mage hand. <laughs> hey, my tiefling I was with last night didn't complain about it. <laughs> <laughs> that is a creative use of mage hand. I'm a creative person. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. He arrives, he sits down at the table, he kind of waves over, uh, and they bring him some food too. He starts eating. He doesn't say anything to you guys yet. He sits down and starts eating. But as soon as he's like in the eye shot, he'll be like, Greetings! Good morning, Garak! As soon as he's not talkative, I'll stop being talkative. Uh, he just eats uh, in relative silence. He doesn't really say much other than to compliment I'll say the, the, uh, the waitress for the food. After I'm finished eating, I'll ask him, So, you have work to do today? Yes, you do. Oh, I do. Yes. <sighs> This is what we need done to prove yourselves worthy. To prove ourselves honest. What is that? We have, uh, obviously, we are in the Underdark. No. And sometimes that means that certain denizens of the Underdark come by. And take root in the nearby locations, nearby caves. Shit. That has occurred recently. We are 
fairly certain we know what it is. I'll start cussing in Abyssal when Gnomish... But we need <laughs> you to clear it out. Fucking tit-ass shit piss. <laughs> C- cursing in Gnomish and Abyssal back and forth. So what do you think we're clearing out? Assholes. We have found... <laughs> we we have found the uh, remains of some uh, some of our scouting parties. Some of them have been turned to stone. Some of them are just little piles of dust. Some of them are burnt corpses. Uh, we think. <laughs> Way to be subtle about that. We think that it's a beholder. Hmm. Can I make an intelligence check against his clues? Yes. Or Arcana. You sure can. Arcana or intelligence? I'll do one as well. Okay. Uh, let's do. I mean, Arcana if you've got it. But intelligence if you don't. Intelligence if you don't. Eight. <laughs> I didn't roll a one. I rolled a two. Me and Herc both got sixteen. Okay. And he rolled a sixteen naturally. I rolled a ten. Herc, you will not know anything about this (laughs) because you are Herc. I imagine that the holders don't have penises, so he doesn't care. Yeah, that's a fair point. (laughs) Yeah. It has it has tentacles, so there's that. Seen that mm-hmm. <laughs> no, uh, that yeah. Sixteen? Sixteen. Yeah. Kyron. You know some of this. He just had some slight clues there. I mean, it wasn't a whole lot. Beholder. None of you have seen one, I don't think. Mm-hmm. I've studied him. He's a nasty creature. It's a big eye. A lot of little eyes on stalks. It'll, it hovers. Mm-hmm. Like this. You know that it can do certain types of, like, different types of ray attacks. Which I have to roll every time to see what it is. Which is pretty dope. You also know... Was it 16? 16, yeah. This much, Bardock will tell you, you would actually have cleaned this Mm -hmm. from the 16. The main eye of this guy. So say, I I might know that just because of my research, because I focus on... Shoots out... What they do. A cone of anti-magic. 150 feet out. So, so I'm worthless eye. if I'm in that cone. But you're going to be in that cone. Nope. I'm going to put my cone in its whispering eye. <laughs> <laughs> you do that, Herc. Well. You can get right on that. No, I'm not. <laughs> Speechless. Typically, what Herc says, he does. So. That would be. Gross. Is that a constant thing? Hmm? Yes. Unless it blinks, and it has, it has to close its eyes <laughs> when it fires its eye ray. Okay. For that instance, because the eye ray doesn't work if there's anti magic in it. Oh, there's ways to make it close its eyes longer. Yeah. There are. That much is true. Like shooting an arrow into it. We don't know what kind of minions it has. It is relatively new to the area, so it probably doesn't have that many as of yet. As long as it didn't find a drow encampment. How far is the nearest drow city from your great Ganrock? There's not any death elf cities around here. Okay. 
It'd be way south. Good to know. Way down south. Good to know. Oh, just for future reference, my sneak attack is now at 66. Tasty. I know, right? That's very tasty. <laughs> I'm gonna hit hard. <laughs> That's right. So this guy's gonna walk up right to it and start swinging. Two more sprint. That's it. Obviously, <laughs> you will want to prepare for this. It's not something that you will just take lightly. Go into. We're gonna yeah, need. we're gonna go hard into it. Yeah, so we would appreciate a plethora of potions if you have them available to purchase. In addition to. Oh, cool. That's a chili mm -hmm. We would be able to do that. Yeah. We'll need to see mm -hmm. our apothecary. Our potion seller. Well, Does he have any strong let's potions? get right to the strong potions then. Alright. And he, you know, I eagerly await your return. Bring some of the stalks with you. Oh, yes, harvesting. I love harvesting uh, dead yeah. parts and bodies. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. Is there any. But here around here that could give me something that'll increase my armor class. Yes, actually. I need something. You want to see the armor smith with the magical item emporium. More magical armory. item emporium. Magical item. What is your armor now? Fifteen. No, what is your armor now? Oh my armor? I have I have studded leather. Just regular studded leather. <laughs> <laughs> I have a studded leather and a cloak of protection. So get, without the cloak of protection, I'm an armor class 14. You should get some. Told you, I am sweet ass. The least broken character in this game. Right yeah, you now. should get some. How much money do you have? A lot. Did you haven't spent it on anything? You have to say, well, I have. You spent it on the bow, and that's about well, it. I spent some on the bow. And I remember when we had those. Uh, whenever I had the uh, um, the elven wine. Mm -hmm. And I sold all that. <laughs> so, uh, except for a bottle, I believe, and I think I gave that to Bahadash when he left. Is there a bookstore? So I have thirty. I have, I have thirty-five thousand gold. Dope. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay. I that's supposed to buy like three so, awesome things. Armor Smith, <laughs> or somebody who can make me magical stuff. Well, you probably want to purchase pre-made magical stuff. You yeah. don't have time, really, to get mm -hmm. stuff crafted right now. So I need something that will increase my armor. But, uh, yeah, let me see what that's going to I have archer bracers, which put my archery up. So I can't really do anything to get better bracers for defense. But they're cool, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I can have a belt. Awesome. I'm not wearing a belt. To say Herc some is. No, no, Herc is. A nice belt of... Bear dicks. <laughs> a belt of bear dicks. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> I remember that. I'm wearing gloves. I'm wearing a bracers. I've got armor and I've got a cloak. I don't have a helmet or anything worn on my head, and I don't have a belt. So those are the two things I can wear without removing anything I'm currently. And I have boots of elvish kind, so that makes me not make noise when I walk. That's pretty handy. It gives you like advantage on stealth check. Sure. Based on Flat? sound. Yes. Yeah, based on sound. It, I just don't make a sound when I walk. That's all it says. Yeah, basically it says advantage on stealth checks based on sound. Mm -hmm. um, and then the cloak the is based on visual. I don't make sound when I walk. Except for the cloak like pop pops every once in a while. Ah, shit! Uh, we are at 60 seconds. Okay, cool. We'll do some chopping off screen. Yeah, yeah. For you lovely Twitch viewers. There you go.